There is no Joe connection to Lila Addison. There's nothing in her financials, her murder file, her emails, her texts, not even her yearbook. Joe and Lila have absolutely nothing in common. It's like the two of them didn't even live on the same planet. Same goes with Joe and Otis. There's no Joe connection in the juvie files? No, not even close. Joe and Otis were sent to different juvie halls at different times, and they ran in opposite neighborhoods. So why the hell did he want to get on that jury so bad? I think I got something. You have a connection? According to his credit card, Joe purchased a pay-as-you-go cell phone from an electronic store a couple months back. So? So he already had a cell phone. What's he need a burner phone for? Especially an anonymous one. And if he is using it, where is it? All right, take a crew to his apartment and see what you can find. That might be the break that we need. Yeah. Castle? Castle, can you stop playing around? Actually, I'm not playing around. I'm a little busy blowing this case wide open. This is a photograph of the Lucky Lewis at Lila's crime scene. This is a little magnification app. Recognize anyone? It's Joe. He was at Lila Addison's crime scene. Oh, he'd be there. Only three reasons for a civilian to be at a murder scene. One, they're dead. Two, they just happen to be in the immediate area. Or three, it's our killer and he couldn't resist the compulsion to return to the scene of the crime. And which number do you think Joe is? I'm gonna go with three. He's our victim and our killer. Nice. 